Hello, uh, this question is about a Stokes law. It says, uh, the question is about estimate the largest diameter of a spherical particle of density 2000 kg per cubic meter, which would be expected to obey a Stokes law in air of density 1.2 kg per cubic meter and viscosity 18 times 10 to the minus 6 pascal second. Assume uh, g is equal to 9.81 uh, meter per square uh, second. Okay, we know that the, in the Stokes regime, the Reynolds number should be less than 0.3. Okay, so that means the upper limit for the Reynolds number is 0.3. So if you write the definition of the Reynolds number, Reynolds number is equal to rho f, okay, density of the fluid times the velocity, terminal velocity, particle diameter divided by viscosity. So we know that the upper limit of the, the, upper limit of the Reynolds number is equal to 0.3. Okay. Also, we know that based on the Stokes regime, uh, in the Stokes regime, the terminal velocity can be calculated using this equation. Vt is equal to rho s minus rho f times d squared g divided by 18 mu. Okay, so if you plug the definition of Vt into the Reynolds number, and then if you rearrange the equation, basically the, you can calculate the of the largest diameter of the particle. So if you do that, so you write rho f times, instead of vt here, I use this definition. So times rho s minus rho f times d2 g divided by 18 mu times d divided by mu. So this mu will be mu, mu you know, squared, should be equal to 0.3, okay? So now if you rearrange this equation, to express d, that is the question, as a function of other parameters, you get d will be equal to uh, 0.3 times 18 mu 2, 0.3 times 18 mu 2 divided by rest. And the rest is basically divided by uh, rho s minus rho f, right, times rho f, there's another rho f here, g with the power of one set because d2 times d is d3 okay so now here uh, you have all the parameters mu is given in the question rho s is given rho f is given g is given okay so you just need to plug the values into this last equation and if you do so you get d equal to 0.3 times 18 times 18 times 10 to the minus 6, that's the viscosity, with the power of 2, divided by 2000 minus 1.2 times 1.2 times 9.81, okay, with the power of 1 set. And that, if you do the calculation, you get d equal to 42.05 micrometer. And that is the largest diameter of the um, spherical particle that can uh, basically follow the uh, Stokes uh, regime with the given boundary condition into, in this question. That is the final answer.